Hello and welcome back to my channel. So this video is a short 10 minute video showing some of my decorating that I did for my university house after I moved in. One of the first things I did was fit a new shower curtain because the one we had was pretty old and mouldy. So I decided to buy a cheap five pound one from B&M which I think looks very cool. I just plugged in my extension that I want on my desk and I don't want to move my desk. I really like it where it is, so I wanted my extension to reach, so I've taped it up along here and it's going to sit on my desk once I've cleaned it because it kind of fits perfectly here on the edge. So I am a fan, that's what I've done. I use masking tape as well, but yeah, and don't worry, I'm cleaning the molder plate. I've officially moved everything into my university house except one box which I forgot. So this is it, and then I've got loads of stuff in the kitchen too. So admire the mess. It will look great afterwards. We went to dinner at Frankie and Benny's after a long day of moving where they gave me a beautiful gift with a Pandora necklace that has a stethoscope and a little love heart that says daughter to celebrate passing my first year of medicine exams before I went home and continued unpacking. Okay, so I think it's time to talk about this. So this is my decorating my room video and unfortunately I didn't show you much because <laughs> I'm not very good at filming. So this is everything we've got so far. Now, I was meant to be up at six because everything's meant to be done by eight. It is now quarter past seven because my alarm didn't go off. So I have to now finish all the stuff that's on the floor as well as all the stuff that's in here and finish off the kitchen and the bathroom entirely so i'm gonna quickly rapidly get this done before everyone gets here at eight oh wish me luck i started off the morning by clearing my desk and finishing sorting out things like my trophies that i had packaged away i was putting them back my necklaces finding somewhere there for those to belong it was all about the little tiny things at this point because everything big had been moved in i was just finding spots i then finished writing the list of things that we needed for the house such as sofa cushions toilet roll holder thing like that and we headed to Ikea, where we decided to buy me a bedside table and so many little things like cushions that were really cheap and things like that. We also had dinner at Ikea because why else would you go to Ikea other than for their food, which was amazing. After Ikea we headed to the nearby B&M and then headed back to my student house so I could finish unpacking. So here is my little tour. I bought a plant because natural dehumidifier all the way. Then I bought this little stool which will help us stand on top of the washing machine to reach out for the dryer. I bought a drawer organiser which will help me separate my clothes and keep the clothes clean and off of the mouldy drawers. And B&M was a great trip as well as Ikea so I did get this rug to put at the end of my bed which you'll see in my tour because it just spices up the brown carpet a little bit. Cute box of tissues that I really like for my bedside table and they are all recyclable which I really like using things that are renewable like that. This shower hook thing for the back of the door so we could put towels on it and these lavender scented bags for my wardrobe my drawers because they don't smell great we have a damp problem if I've not said that enough this video. A bathroom bin which is always useful for any house and we definitely needed one especially a new one and a desk bin because I use my desk bin in my accommodation all the time. Toilet brush also useful I did end up having two in the end because my housemate brought one. This little soap dish sticks above the sink and you will see it in my bathroom tour when it comes out and just normal cleaning things just I did not think to bring fairy liquid I don't know why that happened. Things such as dryer balls to keep their clothes separate, it does help it dry quicker if you don't have any, highly recommend. Room air fresheners for my bedroom, definitely recommend as well. Febreze, this is a fabric and carpet deodorizer slash freshener, it's amazing. This little basket goes behind the bath and is responsible for keeping all our cleaning stuff in, as well as things like deodorant, um, here are some coasters for the coffee table and cotton buds for the bathroom as well, so communal ones. Because I do like to get things that we share. We have four pillows, two of each of these types, which are on the sofas in the living room, just to add a little bit of colour to the living room. 
And I also got this, which is a lampshade. It cost two pounds because I didn't have a lampshade in my room. We got four extension leads overall, and my room definitely needed them. I have one on my bedside table, one on my desk, one on my chest of drawers, so many. One in the kitchen as well. This is a cover for our ironing board because there wasn't one when we got the ironing board and the iron with our house. We also have things like bath towels and a bath mat that all match because we didn't have one originally, we only had a floor towel. This little stand which we can stack toilet roll on as well as have one hanging at all times because we didn't have one. And a new kitchen bin because the one we had was pretty bad when we moved in. I also have a bedside table now which my dad put together. So I'm going to put this in my decorating my room vlog video. So this is my house. I'm halfway through making it comfortable and homely and I'm very, very excited to show you it. But you will see a house tour soon, don't worry. You're not going to see it up the stairs because of the boys' rooms um, and they don't want my camera, but I will show you all of the downstairs area because they don't mind that. And I sleep downstairs, so it's like a bungalow, it's like my house. So my friends from the medical school got me housewarming gifts because they are commuters. So they were like, oh, you moved into a house and they came to see it and they love it and I love it and it's so cute. So I'm going to show you what they got me. So I got this really cute little card, which I'm going to put up on my wall. Oh, um, and they also got me a few gifts. Now, if I didn't say it properly when I moved in, the house has a damp problem because it is a cheap house, which you will see next year when I tell you exactly how much the rent costs and where I'm living. So I was talking to the girls about that. And as part of the house housewarming gift, they bought me dehumidifiers and air fresheners, which is so cute because it's one of those things that like, I got them with my parents at the weekend, quite a few of them, but you don't really remember them. Like they remembered and it, I, yeah, I just, it's cute. So two de dehumidifiers. and two air fresheners. And these air fresheners are kind of fancy, they're like jelly. I don't know if you can see that, but like jelly. It's cool. So I'm very, very glad I have those because I can just start putting them around. Now onto the food. My favorite type of crisps, corn cocktail. Sugar ring donuts lemon drizzle cake and then two bags of smarties chocolate orange and white chocolate i love chocolate and sweets as you can tell now the only problem i have here is that i'm the only one in the house so there's no one to share with and i definitely cannot eat that much so i'm gonna have to invite some people around and give them cake there's also this dairy chocolate box and when my friend who got me these she was like because I was looking at the back and they're all good ones. And they are all good ones. All good chocolates. So it's a very good option. Easy for everyone. And they got me some spot stickers because I said I was running out. And this, which is a Lilo and Stitch waffle maker. <laughs> so you're going to see in the future when I make these waffles at some point. But they're very cute. They have Stitch face on. I love it. And then finally, they also got me this decorative piece, which I'm going to try and make and put up in my room. Because you can clip things to it, and I think it'll be really cute to put the cards on and that sort of thing. So I get this, which is going to look very, very good on one of my walls. Might even put it up in the living room if I'm feeling that fancy. But yeah, so this is everything I got. But it's so cute, have, like housewarming, just having friends that think about that sort of thing. It was adorable. So thank you to all my friends, because it's been so nice. Um, and I'm gonna decorate now and make everything look so beautiful. To finish off the last touches in my room, I stuck up my fairy lights all over the place, which you will see when I do the full room tour. And then my mum had brought me these pictures that she'd printed for me because I needed new ones for my new student house. And I put these up in the shape of a corner love heart, which I'm sure you've probably seen before. I did add another couple portrait ones to make this heart beautiful and I love the way it looks on the wall. So if you want to see my full house tour, please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.